Have you ever wondered why we arrange things in a certain way when we want to prepare something? Suppose you are making a sandwich. You have two slices of bread and a kebab. How would you arrange your sandwich? Let's place both slices of bread together. Then we place the kebab on top. Is this really a sandwich? No, because it is not the correct arrangement for a sandwich. So, what is the correct arrangement? Start with one of the slices, now layer it with the kebab. Next, place the other slice on top of the kebab. Now that is the correct arrangement for the perfect sandwich. In the same way, atoms arrange themselves during a chemical reaction to form specific products. Consider how water forms from hydrogen and oxygen molecules. In the reaction, the bonds between hydrogen atoms in the hydrogen molecules break down. The bonds between the oxygen atoms in the oxygen molecules also break down. Then, each oxygen atom forms a bond with two hydrogen atoms, giving rise to a new arrangement in the form of water molecules. Did you notice? During the chemical reaction, no new atoms were created. No atoms were destroyed either. Just like the sandwich, the proper arrangement of ingredients or the reactants was all we needed to create a new product. There are four hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms on both sides of the reaction. Just like the sandwich which has two slices and one kebab. Let's do an exercise. Can you rearrange these atoms to form carbon dioxide? Here, Two oxygen atoms break their bonds and form new bonds with a carbon atom. This new arrangement results in the formation of a carbon dioxide molecule. To summarize, atoms rearrange themselves during a chemical reaction. Bonds between the reactants are broken and atoms rearrange to form new bonds. No new atoms are created or destroyed in the process. Finally, the rearrangement of atoms in reactants form new products.